my god! Jesus! from the car, in fact. Trying to put them in his pocket, and ouch. Good job he wasn't in front of the car when that happened. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, was that? Bravo! to Berg it's just show oh, oh Alfanchi back in in tired legs has he taken anyone else with him but for Obiev for oh, oh we've had riders down a heck of a lot of riders down that's the danger we were talking about if you were just picking up racing now it's taken almost the entire Yam cycling team down and this is it just one rider going down nothing in front of him don't know what happened there it looked completely like his front wheel just disappeared from underneath him Yam yeah, cycling rider down. Oh, and there are several riders from Netap. And it does look like it's uh, Theo Gogenhardt. It certainly does look like it's him, but it's been responded to by uh, the Badiani CSF team. Oh. Oh, no, an awful crash there for Theo. It goes, uh, just overcooked it on that corner, throws himself off. He will get the same time as the leaders, but uh, unlucky for the youngster there. here you know it's not a good road uh, it's a bit patchy and uh, quite a uh, difficult to get down but he's still going down at unbelievable speeds and a crash oh. here and it's one of the sky boys and it does not look good prone it looks like he may well have struck a tree uh, we are speculating let's hope that oh daar heb je dan een eerste brokje van het peloton daar heb je het versnipperd gedeelte en daar is het je reinste chaos kijk langs de kant ja, maar ik, ik kan die chance die van achteruit komen aangelopen met willen in de hoop van er toch nog iets te kunnen doen. In de berm. Proberen enige... Met uh, Lucinda Brandt hier aan de back. Oh my oh. god! Oh my god! That's a crash on the touch on the wheels. The whole team is spread as they go down and that is out for them. Let's have a look what happened here. They overshot. They uh, well, they hit the barriers. They couldn't bring the bikes around. They clipped the feet of the barrier with the lead woman, and this was the result. I think you might see it. Watch the lead woman completely overshot there. Caught the barrier. The whole team couldn't avoid it, and in. Just look here, as the pedal strokes go down, they, they can encroach on to but the barriers. Yancy van Rensburg just watched, he was, oh. he was hit by the handlebars by Gardini. Gardini came, took Yancy van Rensburg's uh, handlebars away from him. And just look at the catapult of um, the bike and Stebar just hits down. Very, very difficult there. Poor Seve down. Luckily for Boom, he just missed out there. But Gardini, what was he doing? Coming away. But then again, van Rensburg was uh, looking to the left and then moving over to the right. 
Okay, we had a crash in the middle and it forced riders out wide and uh, we said road space was going to be at premium and you saw what it did to the bikes. Once you hit those um, outcropping legs, the bikes got airborne and that is a terrible, terrible sight. Um, feet of barriers should be protected and to my mind it should be a much longer distance out because uh, if you start to head towards them, it could cause some very nasty injuries and I believe that's what we've got right now. Yeah, that was just a reaction. Yancey van Rensburg was just uh, looking after, or he brought up uh, Nieskitz and just moving to the right-hand side, but over the top came Gardini, and Gardini just clipped his bars, down he comes, and, um, you know, these are the things that happen, uh, you're riding over 40 miles an hour, chaos in a sprint like that.